guys, what's up? I wanted to do a bit more of a talky video because I don't usually do these. I'll go through with you some of my August favourites and some of my all-time favourites and just have a general chat about products. I hope you guys had a nice summer and you went to lovely sunny places. The place that I went to was New York. It was super hot when I was there. It was like 95, 97 degrees. The only thing that I bought there was some lip butters, like these Revlon lip butters. And my favourite colours are Peach Parfait. You can see quite used peachy colour and that goes beautifully with loads of stuff. It's kind of like a pinky peach so it's not too peachy. My other favourite is Berry Smoothie I've used quite a few times and this is more of a pinky tone. So depending on whether I'm in a peachy or pinky mood, it's a beautiful subtle wash of colour that I love because it makes the lips look naturally glossy and moist. Other things that I've bought and that I've enjoyed wearing this month is this necklace by Taddy Divine. And this is something I bought from their website. It's a seahorse. It was on sale. I love the detail. It's actually um, a piece of perspex that's kind of like slightly pearlescent. And so all this is sort of like cut out. So cute! And then I bought a hat from American Apparel. It looks like this. It's a straw hat. Very useful to keep your face in the shade. And also, if you don't want to see someone, you can just be like that. Or if you want to see them again, you can be like, hey! <laughs> Next on the EOS front. Now this is a brand that I absolutely love. And my favourite lip balm of theirs is Sweet Mint. It's this one. And I've actually finished it. So, spoiler alert, I'm going to show you what happens when you finish an EOS lip balm. What is at the bottom? Dun 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 dun! <laughs> So basically what it is, is like this kind of um, pie and so like all these bits of lip balm fell through these holes and I kind of like fished two of them out and it looks like pizza pie slices. So now I'm on to my summer fruits one and one of you said that you find yours smells of peaches. Uh, now I can't think of anything else that it smells like. It smells exactly like peaches and one of the ingredients actually I read was um, I think peach oil or something so Duh. Another product of VOS that I've absolutely loved is their body lotions. This one is my favourite. It's the most moisturising of the lot. I've got dry skin so this is the one that I find the most soothing and the one that lasts the longest. So if I apply this on my hands hours later they'll feel totally moisturised and absolutely no problem. And I love the fact that it's hand and body lotion so it's strong enough to moisturise hands which is usually kind of like a drier part because you're washing your hands all the time. And all of these body lotions contain vitamins E and C and she butter. And this one, my favourite one's called Boost. Love your skin. And I love the scent of it. I can't even quite describe the scent of it because it's not typical. It's just the most beautiful scent. It's my favourite scent of all body lotions. Um, full stop. <laughs> It's something almost between oats and coconut. I'm not quite sure how else to explain it. If you have this body lotion, tell me what you think it smells like because maybe you have a better idea of how to explain it. Recently I've had a bit of eczema on my skin and it's just been a bit sort of temperamental. So what I've been using for a foundation is Liz Earl's Sheer Skin Tint. Now this is not heavy coverage, but it feels super soothing on the skin. It feels like I'm applying something that's actually good for my skin, like my skin feels like it's sort of absorbing it in a funny way, like it doesn't have any of that kind of like, ugh, what are you putting on me kind of thing. <laughs> this is actually their palest colour, it's called Bare, it's number 01, but it blends out seamlessly and beautifully and it's very moisturising. I wouldn't advise it if you have oily skin because obviously it is moisturising so it's great for dry skin, for irritable skin and for possibly combination skin. Some Lizarol products that I discovered recently, this is a bronzer and this colour is, uh, they have C130 in the back. They come in these lovely compacts, they're kind of like a navy blue and they've got like a shimmer inside, you can't really see but it's kind of sparkly in a very subtle way and this is, it's got a mirror, it's called a Zerl, and this is a beautiful colour. It's got the slightest bit of shimmer but it really appears more matte than shimmery and I've got it on at the moment and it's great for sculpting the face to create that kind of chiselled look as well as creating a bit of a bronzed glow and this product actually comes with a little booklet which is actually really cute and it'll have instructions about how to contour the face as well as how to give yourself a bronzy glow which is really a, a cute addition. Well, this little blusher I've been using recently is called Nectar, it's number 06 and it's kind of a peachy pink 
perhaps more on the peach side, it feels really soft applying it. I've got it on my cheeks at the moment, and while I'm talking about those are all products, um, they've got a new cleanse and polish out at the moment. This is a special edition, it's got lavender and rose oil added to it, so it's got all the benefits of your regular Lizarol cleanse and polish. Oh, it comes on like icing, <laughs> and the scent is so relaxing. That kind of lavender just makes you feel soothed and peaceful and kind of like it makes you almost feel sleepy. If you already have a cleanse and polish, you might want to have a nighttime one. So you use this at night when you want to sleep. But it's wonderfully soothing. And I love the packaging. It just looks really fun with all these sort of squigglies and pink and silver and it's like this really cool addition. And I need to show you Lime Crime's latest eyeshadow palette. It's got a mermaid on a moon. I just love the imagination and the fantasy. And of course, Lime Crime sticker. And the actual palette. Let's open it together. And these are the colours. They're all sort of pearlescent, gorgeous, aquatic, mermaidy colours. I'm going to start with this colour. It's called Atlanteal. And it's a beautiful pale turquoise colour. It's beautiful. I love this color. This is a great color. You can also place this on if you, for instance, put a black liner on your lids um, or a cream product and then place this over it to create kind of a highlight. Now this violety color is called Pearl Pearl. And so let's swatch this one. This is how it comes out. I love violets and this is a total winner. I'm going to streak. Some of this next to the teal colour and it's very gentle, very soft, such a beautiful violet. One of the things that I find with violets is sometimes they tend to look a bit heavy and if they're too heavy they'll look a bit sort of sad, almost kind of like gothic. Whereas this is such a beautifully romantic violet and that will look wonderful on the lid, like say under the crease. Kind of chartreuse colour here is called Seahorse Discourse. It's kind of like a yellowy limey green. And this is what it looks like. Super fun and actually it looks brilliant with a tan. And let me swatch them for you. It's slightly wasabi like, kind of a yellow with a greeny twist. And this one is called Coral of the Story. <laughs> They've got these puns on all their colours that have a sea theme. So this is the coral of the story and it is actually very pretty coral. It comes out sort of slightly softer because it almost looks like a, a kind of a red in the palette. But this is how it comes out. You can also use that as a blusher. And finally this blue colour here is called Nautilus Prime. And I'm going to swatch some on my thumb because I've used all my other fingers. And this is how it comes out. Super intense, beautiful colour. I love this colour as a kind of a highlight if you're doing a blue smoky eye. Wow, gorgeous colour. Nice shine. I also forgot to swatch one of Lime Crime's lipsticks in my last tutorial because I was swatching some colours and this one's called Coquette. It's a really nice neutral colour to kind of blank out the lips a bit if you're doing like a smoky eye and you don't want the lips to take over. How pretty is that? So pretty, kind of like a beigey neutral kind of pink and it's super pigmented. Um, it smells kind of like a mixture of vanilla and magic sprinkles and cupcake, but without the tackiness. Just really gorgeous. I don't know what they put in the products, so they, they smell so good. If I'm not in a good mood, I'll just start sniffing my Lime Crime lipsticks. So there you go guys, those are some of my favourites and some new products and some old products and all different kind of products that I love. I hope you enjoyed and please give me a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment. Tell me what you did over the summer, tell me anything, even say hi, I'll say hi 